This is a quick tutorial video for students in regards to accessing Teams and the learning content that teachers are providing through Teams. So to start with, you will need to locate your Teams app. You may have a Teams icon on your desktop, or you may want to go to the search menu here and type and search for Teams and open it that way. Or if you don't have the app on your device, you can also open it or from the school's website. Simply go to Office 365, make sure to sign in using your, your district email and log in. Once you're logged in, you're then going to go to the Teams app in Microsoft 365, and it's gonna open your Teams. Now it may open, it is likely going to open to the last thing that you accessed. And so depending on where you were, so I'm currently in uh, one of my Teams, but um, you may be in chat or activity, but you wanna make sure to hit the Teams icon right on the side here, and that'll go to your Teams. Um, if you click it, it'll go to all of your Teams. So this is, there's a tile for every team that, that I'm involved with. Um, your Teams are gonna have lettering like this. So P2S2, HIS292, so that Theory 2, second semester, History, which is an AP US history class. Um, so what you want to do is you want to find those S2s. Now, you might have a number of tiles that are showing that have maybe S1. You might even have tiles that are showing from previous years. And you might not want to see those anymore. And so the best way to kind of condense down your tiles so that you're just seeing second semester tiles is go to the three dots of any tile you don't want to see anymore and just click on that and you wanna just go hide, okay? So you're just gonna, I'm gonna hide a couple of these teams that I don't need to see, okay? Because I am i don't have students in them, okay? Or I'm not a student in them. Now, if you ever wanted to see those tiles again, you could just hit, open the hidden tiles, click on them, and then click show, and then they'll go up to the location where all the, the visible ones are, okay? So now, now that you've found the team, so I'm gonna to go to my AP US history class, okay? I'm opening up the teams. And what I'm going to do here, so I want to get to this week's assignment okay, that my teacher has, has sent out. And so what I will do, so as you can see, so Ms. Kirk is the, the teacher for this class, and she has posted the assignment here right on uh, what is called the post section. And this is the, the general page for the AP US History page. So a couple ways that you can find the assignments, you can either go to assignments on the left here, assignments up here on the, the, the bar, or you can click on view assignment here as well. So three different locations. So if I click on assignments here, what I'll see, you wait, you're going to want to pick the class that you have assignments in, and you are going to want to look at those. Okay, so as you can see, I have, um, there are some previous ones that uh, Ms. Kirk kind of posted, but this is, this is the current one, right? It's not past due, so I'm going to click on that one, and it's going to open the assignment for me. Now, if I was in the general section of there, I could also click view assignment here, and that's going to open the assignment. Okay, so there it is. Or uh, if I'm just on that general page, and I click assignments up here, it's going to open the assignments. Okay, so I'm just going to go to this one that is available, and I'm going to open it up. So here's the assignment, so how to open, edit, and turn in an assignment on Teams. So kind of an introductory uh, lesson, obviously. Um, and so the not a lot of instructions for this assignment, but there is a Word document. And what you're going to do is you're going to click these three dots here, and easiest way to do this is to open it in Word Online. Okay, so I'm gonna open that in Word Online, and here we have the instructions of kind of accessing it. Okay, so I'm gonna go through these instructions, and then once I have kind of completed the task, you know, typically an assignment would have, have things for you to fill in and complete. But then once you're done with that, you just need to close that document. It'll auto save whatever you have done in your assignment when you're using the online version. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back here 
And if I am done um, modifying or, or doing my work, then what I am going to do is I am then going to push turn in. Okay. And by pushing turn in, that sends the homework to my teacher. Okay. So that gets sent. And there we go. It's done. Um, it got turned in the teacher. My teacher will, will look at the document and then they will complete it. Uh, if it's if points are assigned with it, then points will be awarded. Often teachers will provide feedback to, to your homework and then it gets sent back to you. And once it's sent back to you, there is the possibility for you to then respond to it and send it back. So kind of this two-way communication. Same thing is, is true for the, the Teams app. So if I open the Teams app, and here I'm in um, contemporary world history. So this is another, I'm going to find those assignments, okay? Or I'll just scroll down to the bottom, see if there's, oh, yep, here's the assignment for this week. Okay, so I'm going to look at the assignment. As you can see in here, we've got one ass assignment here. Um, so here's another example of, so welcome back to world history. And so here's some kind of instructions that are written. That's kind of the instructions. And so now I'm going to open the document. Okay. Remember, I'm going to open that in Word Online. So I'm going to open that in a browser. Opens up the, uh, the, the Word document. And so now I'm just going to answer the question. Um, but I'm going to submit it. Okay. Notice that it's saved and it's automatically saved. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this out. And I'm going to go back to my Teams. Okay, and now, so it's been saved. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it in. So now it's turned in. And I get a fun little graphic as I turn it in. That's pretty great. And so now the teacher will um, have it. Now, you do have the option to undo the turn in if you want to go back and work on it. But um, the teacher may not have that feature. Teachers don't always turn on that feature. So uh, just keep in mind. And then you'll get feedback from your teacher, and that's a great way to act. If you have further questions regarding this tutorial, make sure to contact your teacher via email or via Teams chat.